Hello folks, we're back. Uh, no haymaking video yet. Uh, we've been extremely dry. It's been seven, uh, going on eight weeks now, no rain. Uh, we had some here a couple days ago. Uh, it was three quarters of an inch. But as we can see down here, man, this ground is... Uh, it's dry and it's hard but I have a feeling this grass is only maybe a foot tall um, down there over this little knoll that's where we put the uh, drain towel in last year or the year before I don't remember but that stuff is super thick and super tall and this stuff, now you can see, I think we're just going to have to cut it. Uh, we're getting rain Sunday and Monday, but with this being a pure stand of orchard, I don't think it's going to get any taller with the stress it's been put through. Um... You know, nothing we can do here, but I'm thinking we just go ahead, get this cut, and uh, take what we can and put a douse of go go juice on it and uh, see what happens on third cut. But uh, yeah, I mean, we'll get something out. It ain't like we're gonna cut and get nothing, but nothing like I was expecting to get but then aren't we all expecting to get more what we get so yeah i think uh we'll give this a shot this is the 20 acre field i don't know if you can see but there's a marker right over there that's a property line and over where that hilltop is there's 10 acres over there so uh yeah i think we'll uh Give her a shot. I'm thinking Tuesday cut it. And since it's all just leaves, you know, I think uh, it'll dry fairly quick, that's for sure. That's the thing with orchard grass and a lot of these on their second and third cuttings. It just all leaves and no stem. But I am surprised... I guess the only thing I'm surprised about is, you know, how clean this field is. For being dry, usually you get a dry spell and you get a lot of weeds popping up and looks pretty bad. But I only see one weed and I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's up here in the beginning. Uh, now this stuff up here... It's maybe to the top of my boot. Not that tall, but I don't expect a whole lot here on the headlands. But. Now I'm wrong. I see two. My bad. Alright, here's one. Oh yeah, curly dock. And I see I got one right out in that direction over there. So I think while I'm here, I'm going to pluck them off. But other than that, I don't see anything out there. Of course, I can't see, of course, way out there on the hill, but if there would be any weeds, they'd be here. But anyhow, I figured I'd get on here and let you know, you know, what we're doing. I mean, you could tell how dry the ground is by these cracks in the ground. I mean... Good lord, they're huge. I stick my finger down in there. And they're just everywhere. So, I mean, we did get that little bit of rain, but whew, it soaked it up quick. But, yeah. Uh, I know last video I said I'd get you another video when we're making hay, but it just hasn't come yet. So, I'm hoping... 
Here in about four or five days, we'll get started on this. This will be the only field that's ready. Uh, hay sales have been going like crazy. We had to kind of put a stop to it just because we didn't know what second cut was going to do with the dry spell we had. So we have our regular customers we have to take care of, so we have to make sure we got enough for them. But I'm going to guess... You know, 30 acres, I'm going to guess 1,800 bale out here on second. Not what I was expecting, but this time of year you can take whatever you can get. So, I'll uh, get another video with you guys here after we uh, get this field made. We'll get a, uh, some videos of us mowing and raking this and baling her up. So, till then, have a good one.